Hey everybody, Heart Tacticon is back, and I am bringing you the BotCon 2016 souvenir figure Tigatron, and he's coming pouncing at ya! So here we have Trans Tech Tigatron. Not the first Trans Tech Tigatron we've even gotten, but uh, the most interesting, probably. I've never actually owned or even held the original Trans Tech Tigatron from BotCon uh, 2006, I believe. But I've seen reviews and pictures of them, so I get the idea. But uh, yeah, this one is done straight up from Breakdown's mold with a new paint job and new head. Um, it looks really good in my opinion actually. I, the white is really nice clean white with that big old maximal symbol. I just think that looks cool. The uh, blue rims are a crazy nice touch. Uh, I just I kind of like that weird faded sky blue or whatever color that's supposed to be. And then the darker blue windshield to kind of contrast with it. It looks really, uh, really, really good in my opinion. Rolls really nice. Okay, wait. That, that wheel's not even hitting the ground. There we go. And you know how these Combiner Wars molds go. But um, either way, he comes with a silver hand foot gun that goes on top. Mine has got a scratch on it. I don't know if I did that like right after getting the dude or if it came like that because I noticed it in the hotel but um yeah so it comes with that um, it is also that gray silvery hand foot gun just like the first wave of uh, just straight up Autobots to go with Optimus Maximus because he actually combines with Prowl, Ironhide, Unit 3 and Silverbolt to create Magmatron and we will get to that soon, but first we're going to get him in Unit 3 out of the way. So, yeah, that's him in vehicle mode. Um, let's do a, a quick comparison with his, I guess, dark side buddy. Ha, <laughs> didn't even think about that joke. <laughs> so, yeah, kind of got like a spy versus spy feel to it. So yeah, there's Ravage with them. That's what they look like together. Like super bright white and super deep dark black. So yeah, some nice uh, arch enemies there. I know they're not actually arch enemies, but they will be for this. So yeah, now let's take off all his weaponry. He comes with the same breakdown sword with that weird blue blade. And I already told you about that one. So there he is, just naked, no weapons on him. And uh, let's pull out Ravage again. Yank his stuff off of him so we can compare them like that. So that's how they look without weapons, unweaponized together. And since we're already at comparisons, why don't we. Uh, Take a look with them with, uh, let's see, what is this, the, uh, the membership incentive figure, Leo Prime or Leo Convoy, from 2015 I believe, yeah, it was 2015, we're getting um, Ramjet this year, hopefully soon, I'm really kind of lusting over Ramjet and all these white figures sure aren't helping the, the deal, but yeah, that's what it looks like with Leo Convoy. And uh, for comparisons, I guess that's all there really is. Um, mine, like a lot of these figures, they just doesn't close all the way right there. But no big deal. Uh, for now, I didn't point out the uh, the blue headlights or whatever those are supposed to be. Because that does, does look pretty cool. And again, contrasting with Ratch uh, Ravage's red. I am sorry when I call Ravage Ratchet and vice versa. It just happens. Especially when you got a big lot of toys all at once and they're both in it. But 
Let's get them transformed. Lift the hood windshield piece up and then lift this back. And then let's see, uh, what, how does this work? Yeah, I, I like to go ahead and bring the arms out like that. Kind of off screen there, sorry. And then I take the legs down, split them, and clip them in there. I'm not going to put a whole bunch of, whoop. There's another problem with mine. This guy, this piece of the spoiler pops off super easy. Um, actually, this is, isn't even my Tigatron. Uh, my daughter got this figure too. Um, she's a big cat lover. And I know she wasn't going to be able to get Ravage without me buying her her own box set. But once I had the idea that Tigatron was probably going to be coming out, I decided that when I go there and when there is inevitably a Tigatron, I'm going to get her one. Not realizing the limit was one figure. And I didn't know what figures were going to sell out or not yet. So you know, I was kind of worried about that. Like, you know, I really wanted to get her a, a Tigatron, mainly of that head she loves cats and it's straight up got a cat head straight up cat head so um, I went up to the little counter where you plate or give them your order form you actually had to fill out this order form thing and um, and uh, one of my uh, the guys that I had met there his name was Christian real cool guy um, was uh, right next to me we started chatting I told him about how I was disappointed that I couldn't get one for my daughter and he said oh well, I'm not getting my Tigatron you want me to get it for you and I'm like yeah so I slipped him a few bucks 50 and uh, he uh, picked up Tigatron for me and I just waited outside of the uh, club store for him and there we go another Tigatron unfortunately this one had that little problem and I figure I could deal with it better than my daughter so I traded with her because I'm just that cool of a guy. But either way, thank you, Christian. If you happen to be watching this, we really appreciate that. She's still playing with it, still enjoying it, and actually knows how to transform it. So, rock on. So, here we have Tigatron. And he's got his weird double barrel blaster all underslung, ready to shoot some stuff, and his sword. And he is just ready to battle, even though... This character really isn't too much in a battle. He's more about just kind of like... I guess you could say he's a scout. Reconnaissance or something. But either way, here is Tigatron. Now, first of all, let's go ahead and get a much better look at that big old pussycat puss. Look at that. There is Tigatron's head. And it looks a little better than Ravages, in my opinion, only because you could see the details more. The um, Ravages head is just so black. Hard to come on focus there. You can't. It's hard to pick out some of the details that aren't highlighted. I thought it was weird that he had black eyes, though. Makes him kind of look uh, not evil, but just not Tigatron. Should have like blue eyes or something, but maybe would have blended in too much. Use that blue for his eyes. That's what they should have done. But yeah, so let's pull him back here and take an actual full figure look at him. And the uh, main problem that people had with this figure was the head. And not because it looked like a kitty face, but because flat head. See that? It's really flat. And I'm sure you already know this if you watched my Ravage video, but yeah. And when transforming it, you can understand why they had to make the head so, so wafer thin. But yeah, that is a problem with the head. And I guess some people probably didn't like the fact that it looks so much like a straight up household kitty cat. Like the one that's just kind of walking around me right now. She just ain't white. But yeah, Tigatron's looking really good. You transform them and a lot more of that faded sky blue really starts popping out. But they went ahead and threw some of that darker, richer blue in to break things up right in the middle, which I think is a good idea. Now, of course, more details could be picked out on this figure. 
I think it would have been great if these little circles on his legs were picked out. Maybe a little bit more of the stuff on his chest. But beyond that, good looking figure for what he is. I'm happy to have him. I dig him. Um, I guess I can understand why all the figures sold out except for Tigatron and Unit 3 because they're not like the very best ones. But uh, I still think both of them are great. So, uh, let's get on to some comparisons. All right, for a comparison, oh, we have a knocked over cat. <laughs> uh, we have, let's, uh, again, we're gonna start off with Ravage. So here we've got some Ravage. This. Yeah. You just don't wanna stand up straight. Close enough. There he is with Ravage. Ravage being all super dark. He doesn't like to be seen anyways. And as you can see, I got Ravage's hand foot gun on his back. Tigatron's in his hand. And Ravage has a gun, Tigatron has a sword. You know, just to break up the uh, same figure with different paint job thing. Right now as for another Maximal from a different show, planet, whatever. Here we have Leo Prime, or Leo Convoy, however you want to say it. And for some more Trans Tech Maximals, here we have with similar colors, Transmutate. Let's see if we can get a better shot. There we go. Straighten her up a little bit. And my last, before this bot combat is my last trans tech figure. Not my last, not even my most recent. Depth Charge. And they are two very, very different characters right there. Depth Charge and Tigatron. So um, let's pull out all the uh, trans techs that I've shown off so far. See what we can do here. So uh, get depth charge in the back, along with transmutate. They're the tallest. And we'll get Tigatron right here, standing next to Leo Convoy. Whoop! And who just took out transmutate? Do you not like uh, protoforms, there, buddy? Hmm. So there you go. There's all my Maximals so far, my Trans Tech Maximals. Now we got two more that we got to review, so all together I will have six. Um, well, technically nine if you're going to include the three figures that were going to get turned into Trans Tech Maximals from the uh, sticker sets that I got from BotCon. Yeah. Prowl, Silverbolt, and Ironhide. Stick it up. To give a little bit more of a feel to their future beast modes because this is all be whoops before Beast Wars this is like right after the um, great G1 war ended I guess but yeah that is Tigatron um let's see is showing off everything yeah I believe that's all there is to say about Tigatron so this was the BotCon 2016 exclusive souvenir figure Tigatron Trans Tech Tigatron and I am Hard Tacticon and I will see you next time